was a little shaky. Um, you know, we hadn't been at home for a while, and I thought Wyoming well, came out and played very well in the first set. And then, you know, sets two, three, and four, I thought we played, um, you know, as good as we played all season. And um, just really did a nice job defensively and transitioning for, for points. So I was very pleased with that. You know, the, Wyoming, or the uh, Colorado State match, um, we were, you know, in every set. We just, you know, could never get quite over the hump. Um, uh, obviously, I think it was pretty apparent, people watching, that we've got to, you know, work, continue to work on our blocking and defense. And, you know, we're, we're making progress in that area. Um, but Colorado State is a good team and, and put us in some difficult situations. But we hit for 250 on the seat, um, for the match, and um, that's above our average. So, you know, there were... So, you know, our offensive side of the ball, for sure, you know, was something positive to take out of the Colorado State match. And um, so we know we have things to continue to work on, and, and we're going to do that. Oh, it's a great environment, you know, um, especially when Utah plays there, you know. Um, they'll, they'll pack the crowd in, and everybody's fired up for that match, and it's, it's, a, it's a fun match. It's a match you want to play in. Um, you know, especially if you are a, a local kid, it's a match you want to play in because it's, it's great energy and it's a lot of fun and, um, you know, both Smithfield House and Crimson Court usually are, are you know, both rocking whenever Utah BYU plays there. Well, I, I've been thinking about this um, since you said you were going to ask me it and, um, I don't know if I have, you know, just short-term memory or not, but really last year's um, matches stand out a lot. Um, in terms of both times we played, they were, um, you know, high-intensity, high-drama matches. The first one at Crimson Court, you know, we were down 2-1. We were fending off four match points and came back at 1-5. and five. Um, And, you know, it was a big weekend for us, and we had a big celebration for our 20th, 20 year celebration, 35 years of the program, and alumni were there, and it was just a, a dramatic, well played match, um, fun match to be a part of. And then down at their place last year, you know, we're down 0 2 and we're able to come back in 5 and win the match. So um, I, I have to say, last year's both of those matches rank right up there. Um, certainly, there's a lot of memorable, a lot of memorable matches with BYU.